In the papers today, the Daily Telegraph reports the Bank of England's flagship funding for lending scheme is likely to fall short of its 80 billion target because it is no longer as attractive as when it was first launched. A sharp fall in funding costs in the wholesale markets mean the scheme will only be effective on about 50 billion. The bank now claims the lower market rates are proof of the scheme's success and say it will provide a cushion against a future squeeze on funding costs. Banks and building societies can be penalised if they use the scheme but shrink their loan books by more than 3%. In personal finance news, British households are reined in spending as they live in fear that they will be unable to repay debts, according to the latest research released by the Bank of England. 35% of households say they've spent less in the last year because of concern over debt levels, and more than a quarter say they've reduced spending because of the dearth of credit. Consumer spending, which accounts for around two-thirds of all spending in the UK, has still yet to recover from its 6% nosedive during the 2008 financial crisis. A series of surveys by the BSA suggest it is now easier to secure a mortgage than at any point since the financial crisis. The number of people who said access to a mortgage finance was a barrier to owning a home has fallen by a quarter since December last year. The National Mortgage Index from Mortgage Advice Bureau said fixed rate deals have fallen to their cheapest for five years. However, life for first time buyers remains tough, with the average size of deposits increasing 16% since December last year to 63,779. And finally, in recruitment news, around 200 new British jobs will be created next year by GE Oil & Gas when it opens a subsea centre in Bristol. The business said it was expanding in the UK in response to growth in its underwater engineering workload, with the expectation it will add more jobs to the UK site in future years.